Mr. President, after the elections, we all felt relief. Relief from the endless stream of fake news and, let's be honest, racism of Mr. Trump. But relief is not a strategy. Relief doesn't tell us what to do next. Millions of Europeans have been watching the American elections, waiting for the verdict of the American people. But the Americans will not solve our problems. We shouldn't live our lives to the rhythm of American democracy. We should live our lives to the beat of our own drum, to the rhythm of European democracy. So let's welcome and congratulate President-elect Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris with open arms. But let's do so by building from our own strength. This commission promised to be a geopolitical commission. We have the perfect opportunity now to show the Americans we mean business by going forward with European Defense Union, by creating a real European migration policy, by building a European intelligence capacity that is able to combat terrorism on the same level as American agencies. Colleagues, Mr. Biden is a friend of Europe, but he also is an important architect of the American-China strategy. He might, and let's hope, he might treat less than his predecessor and more polite, but he also is more focused on Asia than on Europe. It's the highest time for Europe to stand on its own feet. Instead of always hiding behind Americans' back, we need to stand next to the US. That will be in the interest of both sides of the Atlantic. Thank you very much.